Drop it. Good day, dear learners. I'm teacher Jailin, and today we will be discussing about the six trigonometric equations. Let's get started. In this video lesson, we will learn how to illustrate the six trigonometric equations sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Also, we will be identifying the different parts of a right triangle. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem in solving right triangles. Let us first name the parts of a right triangle. We actually have two parts of a right triangle, the hypotenuse and the legs. However, the legs could be an adjacent or an opposite side. Let us first talk about the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle. It is always located opposite the right angle. So in this triangle, side AB is our hypotenuse. While the opposite side and the adjacent side depends on the location of the angle theta. Angle theta is a Greek symbol which denotes an angle. Suppose I say that the angle theta is located at angle B. We can say that the opposite side is the side opposite the angle theta. So this could be our opposite side. Well, this side next to the angle theta is what we call the adjacent side. As simple as that. Let us now try to meet the parts of this right triangle. So you are given right triangle ABC with right angle C and the angle theta is located at angle A. Can you identify where is the hypotenuse in this right triangle? Yes, you got it right. So it is always opposite the right angle. So it could be here. Now can you tell me where is the adjacent side? Correct. So the adjacent side is always next to the angle theta. So this would be our adjacent side. And of course, the opposite side is opposite the angle theta, so it is a side CB. Awesome! Let us now apply our knowledge in naming the parts of a right triangle in understanding the six trigonometric ratios. First one, we have the sine of theta, which is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. We also have here the cosine of theta, which is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. And the tangent theta, which is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. For you to remember it easier, you may use the mnemonic SOCAT POA. So stands for the sine of theta, which is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. CA for cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOWA, which is tangent of theta, equals opposite over adjacent. Okay? Now, for the last three trigonometric ratios, you may use the mnemonic CHO, SHA, KAO. They are the reciprocals of the first three trigonometric ratios. So, we have here cosecant of theta equals hypotenuse over opposite side. We also have the secant of theta which is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent side and the cotangent, which is equal to the adjacent side over the opposite side. So all together, we can remember the six trigonometric ratios as so, ka, towa, cho, sha, kao. And for the next lesson, We'll be using the six trigonometric ratios in solving for right triangles. But before that, let me first teach you how to use a scientific calculator. 
These are examples of scientific calculators. You may use any of these to solve for right triangles. The first thing you have to do is to check whether your scientific calculator is in degree mode. If it is not, you may press mode and press 1 to make it in degree mode. This key is the sine key, cosine key, and tangent key. Let us now try to find the ratio given the angle. Suppose you were asked to find the value of sine 25 degrees. All you need to do is to press sine, then 25, equals sine. So sine 25 degrees is equal to 0 0.423. Round your answer to three decimal places. Let us now try to find the angle given the ratio. Suppose you are given sine theta equals 0 0.881. All you have to do is to press shift, then sign. You are going to see sign raised to the power of negative 1. Then 0 0.881. Then equal sign. So sine theta equals 0 0.881 is equal to 61.76 degrees. We also have the degree, minutes, and seconds key. So if you were asked to express 16.8 degrees in the nearest seconds, all you need to do is to press 1, 6.8 degrees, then equal sign. So that is 16 degrees, 48 minutes, and 0 seconds. Now, if you were asked to express 25.25 degrees into the nearest minutes and seconds, so you just have to press 25.25. 25 degrees and you are going to get 25 degrees and 15 minutes. Let us now apply the concepts we have learned in solving for a right triangle. So you are given right triangle A, B, C with right angle C and angle B with 48 degrees and the hypotenuse with 6 units you were asked to find the measure of this side. The first thing we have to do is to name the parts of this right triangle. So since this is the angle theta, we can say that this is the adjacent side. And that one is the opposite side. Now, you were given the hypotenuse And you were asked to look for the adjacent. So all you need to do to find out the measure of the adjacent side is to choose between these trigonometric equations. What are we going to use? It's very simple. All you need to do is to look for that trigonometric ratio wherein both the hypotenuse and the adjacent side is present. Okay? So that is cap cosine of theta equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. Because hypotenuse is already given and the adjacent side is what we are looking for. Let's start. So that is cosine of theta equals the adjacent side represented by A and the hypotenuse side over the hypotenuse side which is 6 units. Now, theta here is a given angle, so that's cosine of 48 degrees equals A over 6. Now, how are we going to find out the measure of A? So, all we have to do is to cross multiply. So, that is A equals 6 times cosine of 48 degrees. You may now use your calculator. What is the answer? Correct! That is 4.01. Round your answers to the nearest hundreds. So A is equal to 4.01 units. This is now the measure of your adjacent sign. Okay. Now what if 
only the legs are given. How are we going to find out the measurement of the hypotenuse? So in that case, we may use the Pythagorean theorem. So what is the Pythagorean theorem? Let us now apply the Pythagorean theorem in finding the hypotenuse side. So you will give a right angle ABC with right angle at C and the measure of the legs are 8 and 12. So let's now find out the hypotenuse. So you can use C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Let us now substitute. So A and B here could be any of these two legs. So let us just say that A is 8, so that's 8 squared, plus B squared, which is 12 squared. Now, let us simplify. 8 squared here means 8 times 8, so that's 64. Plus 12 squared, which means 12 times 12, 144. Find the sum, so that is C squared equals 208. And for us to find the measure of C or the hypotenuse side, you may just extract the square root of both sides of the equation. So that is C equals the square root of 208, which is correct. The measure of the hypotenuse is 4, square root of 13, or 14.42. Now, since we have already found out the measure of the size of this right triangle, we may now look for the angles. Now, since angle C is a right angle, we can say that the measure of angle C is 90 degrees. Now, let's first look for the measure of angle A. Since angle A is the angle theta, we can say that this side is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. Now, recalling the original given earlier, you were given the opposite and the adjacent side. So, from so, ka, and kawa, the opposite and the adjacent side are both present in kawa. So, we are going to use tangent of theta equals opposite over the adjacent side. Let us just substitute the values. So tangent theta equals opposite is 8 over 12. So using your calculators, you may, you may just press 8 divided by 12 equals the shift tangent equals. So the measure of the angle theta or angle A is 33.69 degrees. <laughs> That is the measure of angle A. Now for the measure of angle B, it's as simple as this. Angle B is just 90 degrees minus the measure of angle A, which is 33.69 degrees. Why? Because the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So since this is already 90 degrees, the sum of angle A and angle B is 90 degrees. So 90 degrees minus 33.69 degrees would give us 56.31 degrees. So here are the measures of those angles. Now it's your turn. For your activity, I want you to label the parts of this right triangle and find out the measure of this leg and the measure of the angle. Thank you so much for listening. Again, this is Teacher Jailin reminding you to embrace lifelong learning, spread love and positivity, keep the faith, may God bless us all.